So George, you're off the mark with two wickets in your first innings for Gloucestershire, the first wicket Ian Bell. What did you think of your performance today? Oh, I, I thought I bowled well first spell and I thought I could have bowled better um, second spell really, but um, I think in the end it was a fairly good performance today from the lads. Um, really we knew going in that um, there'd be long periods kind of potentially without wickets and we had to dry them up um, and kind of hopefully, hopefully get the wickets as a result of that and I think, um, to be honest, I think it paid dividends at the end there obviously Bomber got two two wickets right at the end so it's turned into a fairly good, decent day for us this isn't the first time that you've played here but are you starting to get used to the pitch and familiar with playing at the ground yeah yeah no absolutely um it's uh certainly a deck which usually is one where it's um quite attritional cricket um there can be long long periods where it doesn't feel like it's doing a lot um can be slightly hard to score as well so you're kind of playing a patience game um and i think today in periods was a good example of that um so yeah now i'm learning <laughs> the Warwickshire batsman didn't exactly have an easy time of it and the wickets were well spread out is that the ideal outcome yeah yeah exactly i mean our, our our plan going in is to just dry them up as much as we can during these periods, give them nothing, make it really hard for them to score runs, and hopefully that makes them impatient and we get a wicket as a result of that. Um, so yeah, for periods today, I thought that was uh, that was that showed. The tie is fairly balanced now at the halfway point, especially with Matt Taylor's late wickets. Mm. What do Glasher need to do to get the upper hand? Um, well, we need a big third innings really um, to take control of the game, put us put ourselves in a position where we can potentially pull out or um, kind of be in a position where we're unlikely to lose the game really because we've obviously got two days so two days left. So if we can bat um, at least tomorrow and then be in a position where they're unlikely to get the runs and we're we're the only ones likely to win the game. Thanks, George. Well done today. Thank you. <laughs>